Hello, my name is Alex from Systems Refine, and today I'm going to answer the Asana question. How do you change from the list view to the board view? Well, unfortunately, as of today, you can't change the Asana list view to the board view or vice versa. But Asana is working on a solution, and you'll actually have that ability uh, to switch between the different views in the future. But in the meantime, let me show you a few workarounds. So the three workarounds I'm going to talk about is going to be creating a board project to match the list view, creating a list project to match the board view, and using summary projects. So with the workarounds, one annoyance that you will have to tolerate until Asana releases the switchable view is having duplicate projects. It's best to label each project as a list or board or just label one as I do. As you can see in here, I have um, this says board and this one just means it's a list. But over here, I, I named them all accordingly so you'll know that this is a list and this is a board, list, board, list, board. So let's say you have a project that's already in the list view and you want to convert it to a board view. And let's say this is what it looks like. So with the board view, you're going to have different columns. And what I'm going to recommend is use these columns as the same name as the sections here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'll go ahead and rename this one. And the next thing you're going to want to do is copy these tasks to each corresponding column or their section. And to do, to do that, just click on one, shift, click on the last one, and then you can just add it to another project. And in this case, it's called board view. So add it to the board view, and you can actually add it, add it to the section as well. It's, it defaults to section one, so we'll just leave that at section one. Make sure these ones, okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to hit, go ahead and add this one to section two. And there you have it. They are in the exact same order as they are in the list view. Now, something else that I like to do is I would like to add a description here and put the actual project as well. So that way you have kind of easy access and you can see that I already did here on this one. So you can switch back and forth. Just make sure you click on the show project description to get to this view here. But then again, you can do it right here. But sometimes when these are closed, you can still work on these projects. So you might not know exactly where you're at in here um, if you have a whole lot of projects going on. So that's how you would create a board view for a list view project. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a list view if you already have a board view project. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove all of these real quick and then um, but I'm going to keep this I'm going to keep the board view like this but remove everything in the list view real quick. Okay, so I have a blank project here and I'm going to go ahead and create the sections the same as the columns here on the board view. And the next step is doing the same thing that I did in the list view. But the unfortunate part is with a board view is you have to do one of them at a, you can only do one at a time. So if I add it to list view, it doesn't go into a section right away. It just goes right to the very top of the list view. So you can either move it down here or you can actually do the same thing as I, I did earlier. You can select the, the section that you want it to be in. And like I said, you have to do this for each task that you have in the board view. And there they are. So that's how you would be able to create a list view project if you already have a project 
built as a in the board view. Okay, so for people who actually like the list view, but also kind of want to have a board view, but maybe uh, they want to have a, a high level overview, they don't want to see every single task, you can do what I like to do is called a board summary view. So I name the columns planning, in progress, waiting, and complete. And to add the these sections into the board summary view, just click on each of the sections, add them to the project board summary view, and again they'll all go into um, the first column and you can come to the board summary view and you can move them uh, as you see fit. So if it's a brand new project maybe they'll all be in planning but uh, let's say you've been working on it for a little bit and section one is kind of, you're kind of waiting for one of the tasks to be completed section two is in progress and you haven't even started section three and four yet so they would still be in planning um, the list view doesn't change so you could it still looks the same you know as you check these off um, it'll give you kind of an idea of what still needs to get done for each section but you can see in the board summary view a high-level overview of how the project is progressing and I think this is more for visual people so there you have it those are the three workarounds that I wanted to show you today and uh, I hope you guys found this video uh, valuable and helpful um, hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video Some good stuff. And that thing, I can see, I can see these things. I see these. You comfy? Yeah? Okay. It's my dog.